Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of Quinn TV. Now, every once in a while, I get messaged by a friend, family member, co-worker, colleague, or whatever, and the message will be like, Oh my God, Q, I just saw this Viper. It was so sweet. You would have loved it. Oh my God. Becky. Me being instantly intrigued, I respond, which generation was it? It's usually my first question. And the responses go something like this. Uh, it was a Z06 generation. Really, brah? It was a Z06 generation? Is that what Viper you saw? A Z06? Really? 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 Tell me about it. Or I'll get something like, uh, it was red. <sighs> Red is the color, not the generation. I forgive them, I forgive them, you know, I forgive their lack of knowledge, I forgive the, their ignorance, because not everyone is a Viper owner or Viper fan, and I don't, I can't expect everyone to know. There's many other cars that I can't tell generations apart. So, this video, I will clarify the differences in the generations for you noobs, so you can spot them and instantly know. And don't worry, I'm not gonna get into like detail with like the years and little silly specs and specifics, shit like that. Don't worry, I'm gonna keep it simple. We're gonna start off with the Gen 1. Bam, the Gen 1 Vipers. How can you spot them? Instantly, it's gonna look sort of like a clown shoe roller skate. See it? Bam, bam, look at the clown shoe, look at the car. Bam, Gen 1, shh, I'm not hating, I Fucking love the Gen 1s. All right, moving on, moving on. At a glance, you're gonna see the side exhaust with the large painted black strip going along the side exhaust. Look out for that, it's usually a dead giveaway. Boom, door handles. Gen 1s do not have door handles at all. So, you look at it, pff, scan the doors, no door handles, guess what? You just found yourself a Gen 1. Look at the interior. The interior is extremely basic. Nine out of 10 times, it's gonna be mostly gray with a little bit of black in it. Unless you luck out and find a sweet ass 95 with that tan, that tan is so sexy. Majority of Gen 1s came with three spoke wheels, AKA the Ninja Stars. And one more dead giveaway, the hood. The clamshell hood is just completely smooth. There's no NACA duct, there's no ventilation air vents along the side. That's how you spot a Gen 1. Gen 2s. For a noob, this is where they get confused. At first glance, for a noob, it looks exactly like the Gen 1. The Gen 2s and the Gen 1s look alike until you notice the little details. Remember the side exhaust from the Gen 1? Guess what? The Gen 2, that is now gone. Look at the side sill. They now have a rear exiting exhaust. Doesn't look as cool, but guess what? No generation sounds more badass than the Gen 2. Yes, Gen 5 guys, calm down. The Gen 2s do sound the best. Gen 2 for sound, oi oi. The Gen 1, remember where I mentioned, hey, no door handles? Well, if you look right here on the Gen 2, by this make-believe B-pillar, it's not a B-pillar, but where the B-pillar should would be on regular car. There's a little door handle right there in that spot. The three-spoke Ninja Star wheels. It will not have the three-spoke wheels. More than likely it will have skinny five spokes or the sexy fat five. There's also different versions of the Gen 2 wheels I believe. Okay, besides the rear exiting exhaust which is a dead giveaway, the Gen 2s also came in a GTS form. So you have the RT in the Gen 2, you also have the GTS in the Gen 2. Last thing for the Gen 2, how do you tell them apart from a Gen 1 if they're both RTs? The Gen 2 has the more aggressive hood. It has a NACA duct built in the dead center. NACA duct, aviation shit right there. And it has what looks like heat extraction vents. I've been told they're not for heat extraction. Look at the picture, look at the picture, look at the picture. Boom, Gen 2, Gen 2, Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 1. See the difference? Easy, moving along. The Gen 3, now you can't mix up the Gen 3 with a Gen 2, it's just not gonna happen because the Gen 3 looks completely different, Ivan. But I couldn't help it over here, your nerdly predicament. Maybe I can be of assistance with the dancing and twisting and the kung fu fighting. Diddly diddly dee diddly doo. Oh, what the fuck was that? The Gen 3, they lose all the badass cool curb. It has a more sharp angular design. It actually comes with a real convertible soft top now. The curves from the side with the gills are gone. It's more like an aggressive 
hack slash type deal. This is gonna piss off a lot of Gen 3 guys. It's gonna resemble more of a Corvette. That's how you can tell <laughs> they're pissed. I know they're pissed. That's how you can spot the Gen 3 from a Gen 2. There's just no mixing them up at all. Now, the Gen 4s does resemble the Gen 3s quite a lot. Owners and fans will be able to tell them apart from the wheels and specific colors. But if you're a non-owner, this is what you look for. Look at the hood. The Gen 3 has this hood right here with the many smaller heat extraction vents while the Gen 4 has the more aggressive hood with the larger heat extraction vent. Now, don't be fooled, don't be fooled. Many Gen 3 guys swap their hoods out for the Gen 4 hood because it's it's just a better looking hood overall. Gen 3s and Gen 4s also have both coupe and convertible forms. Moving on to the Gen 5. How would you tell the Gen 5 apart? Easily, way too easy. Look at this. Look at this Gen 5. Look at this Gen 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay? It looks nothing like the rest of them. Like how the Gen 2s and the 1s resembles. Gen 3s and 4s resembles. Gen 5 is its own animal. It resembles nothing. It's fucking badass. That's how you tell it apart. Look at it. It is badass. And that is Viper Generations for you noobs. If you enjoyed my bullshit video in any way, shape, or form at all, please share, like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you motherfuckers later. Peace. I can't put my dick on YouTube. No, nobody gonna see your dick. You can blur, right? Oh, almost forgot. Look at this, right here. Dodge Viper, window regulator, repair. No one has an actual video on this. This guy does. Go check him out.